What is the hardest challenge in Hoi 4 history? The One Division World Conquest? Maybe the Algerian Desert World Conquest? No, it's the One Division Algerian Desert World Conquest. If you're unaware, the Algerian Desert is a nation created by doing this focus as France, then releasing Algeria while retaining course. It's the worst country in the game. They have no factories, manpower, resources, or research, and it's an impassable train, so you can't deploy divisions. Even if if you do, this challenge limits you to only one. Can I, after dedicating 10% of my life to this game, beat these impossible odds? Let's see. I'll play on Iron Man mode and non-historical. Here we are. I don't need a plan. Let's just jump into it. We just randomly capitulate. What? I hate you, Italy. Yes, we landed in Paris. What? Why did we capitulate? Thirty-five games and twelve hours. Wasted. I guess I need a plan. First, I'll mention two things to keep in mind. Declaring war on France without additional territory makes us capitulate immediately. But with territory, we just lose the Algerian desert and white piss. I've also noticed that tweaking the game rules is important. You can make certain nations follow their historical path and still be Iron Man compatible. This reduces the luck needed. Other than that, there's one rule that's critical. You'll see why later. Now the plan. First, we sabotage France by making sure they only have one template that doesn't get equipment. This makes it so they can't deploy divisions and are therefore defenseless. We then set them on the course to go fascist and release Algeria. As them, we turn fascist and create a faction with Italy. That's what I have for now. You'll see what happens after, later. We've executed the first part of the plan perfectly. We're fascists, which gives us this beautiful leader, Hussam. He'll bring our nation to glory. His first act as leader is declaring war on Yugoslavia, making Italy want to create a faction with us. We can then call them to war and just wait. Yugoslavia also formed a faction. That means we'll hopefully get more land. Thanks to Italy, they capitulated. We didn't do anything, but got some points anyway. That's because we're the faction leader. We've now gained some territory. War with France is the next move. They shouldn't have any divisions because of my sabotage, so defeating them will be easy. Oh shit. They made a faction with Spain and Portugal. They're no longer defenseless, but we must prevail. So let's declare war. And whoops, white piss. Okay, so they took the Algerian desert. Now we have zero core territory, but we still exist. And our capital is no longer in an impassable train. So we can deploy a division. Let's just fly again. Our brave paratrooper will have to land in Paris and make a run for the closest cities, praying that Spain and Portugal don't intervene. What happened now? Japan is at war with France. Unfortunate. We'll get less in the peace conference if we win. We declare war, and our prayers have been partly answered. Spain hasn't joined the war. We only have to watch out for Portugal now. If Spain joins, the game is over. Yes! Thanks to our brave soldiers, we defeated a world power with the weakest army and nation on earth. We're coming out of the peace conference as a relatively powerful nation, with Portugal and France as puppets. The next logical step is forming Al-Andalus, and for that we have to defeat Spain. Let's get working on a good tank with our new factories. I think we're ready to take on Spain. I'll paradrop into an empty tile, then convert it to the tank. Let's start deleting their divisions and level up ours. What? Italy is getting destroyed by the Allies.
they're very close to capitulation. And there they go, we'll annex all. We also annex our Portuguese puppets and can now reform the great Al Andalus. Three million manpower and 150 factories. We've shown the world that they shouldn't mess with us. What to do now? There's currently three large factions. The Allies, the European Combine and the Central European Alliance. And they are at war with the other two. We could go after some neutral nation, but they'll probably just get guaranteed. Hold on a second. We're still at war with Portugal. I should take care of them before anything else. Oh, Turkey joined their faction. But that's actually good. If we defeat Portugal, the faction leader, they'll be included in the peace conference. So we can get them for free. Finally, peace. Let's see about this conflict in Europe. We can either join on the Allied or the European Alliance's side. If I declare war on the Allies, I would have to invade the USA and risk being naval invaded. So no, the European Alliance is also at war with the European Combine, meaning they won't last long. I'll join against them. We'll see what my division and airplanes can do here. We're destroying them in the air. Thanks mostly to shooting down their planes, we got a good amount of war score. We get out with a lot of new territories and have reached close to 300 factories. Things are looking really good. The Allies are engaged in a war with the European Combine. Honestly, I have no clue what I should do now. Let's just relax, see how things develop and build up for a while. Oh no! After all the help they got in the previous war, they betrayed us. They betrayed Hussam. We have to defend our homeland as hard as we can. We will not forget. They will regret this. The Iberian Peninsula is under our control, but naval invasions are imminent since I don't control the seas. So let's get ready to defend. I can't just sit here and wait to die. I have to do something. We should invade the UK. Let's launch. I love collaboration governments. Now they're taken care of. Let's island hop for a bit. We're actually doing pretty good. Oh, that's not good. Close. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but what now? They're attempting to take back the UK. We're circled. Yes, we got out. I guess we can stay here for a while and grind them down. Everything seems to be going well. Oh my god. They never invaded us. I can't believe it. They defeated us. I guess it's another restart. Another few hours wasted. But wait, we still exist and we still have our puppets. And most importantly, 
Hussam. They didn't even take our territory. They liberated it. I think there's still a chance. We'll be back to where we were if I has conquered the liberated nations. Hussam will get revenge for this. Italy has made their own faction, and Portugal is their puppet. I'm thinking that if I'm at war with their faction, I can justify quicker, and the liberated nations will hopefully join them instead of the allies. So that's the plan. Portugal's ours. Let's take back the rest of our territory. Oh, they got guaranteed, but by Russia, better than the Allies at least. The plan worked, they joined Italy, but Russia did too. Uh. And we're pretty much united. And since we have naval supremacy, also pretty safe. Oh shit, not anymore. Italy declared war on the Allies. This will make it easier. Now Russia's left. Boom, peace conference. I have the most war score. Let's make the most out of it. This is what I have now. We've researched from our loss even stronger and we're ready for what comes next. And that's Iraq, the leader of the Chinese United Front. my god, the allies, they declared war on us again. I'm too far away to defend Gibraltar. I have to think of something quick. Oof, that's immediate danger dealt with. Let's go back to our old battlefield and pile up even more bodies. We've killed more than 5 million here, but need to leave since the Americans are landing in Italy. They're pushed out. While we're down here, we can recapture Sardinia. I think we should go to Ukraine. They have hundreds of divisions there. Bruh, we're encircled. I don't think there's any saving this. 
Guess the Allies needed a victory after 7 million additional casualties. Rest in peace to our brave soldiers. They're invading Italy again. Pushed out again. And by the way, not to be racist or anything, but our general doesn't really look like an Abbas Nasserid. Anyway, let's go back to the UK. I'm starting to believe we're unstoppable, or our division at least. Another 6 million kills. If we keep going at this pace, we'll be done in no time. No, 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 no. Not again. I must be able to save this. There's nothing we can do. They simply outnumber us. There's no way we can defeat 4,000 divisions with one. I got tunnel visioned again. We're back to where we were 8 hours ago. This... this isn't even worth it. I'm giving up. Hussam? Don't give up. You have to keep going. You have to get revenge on the Allies. For me. You're right. You're right. After hearing what Hussam said, I'll make it my mission to get revenge on the Allies. To make him proud. 20 million kills isn't enough. I will kill every single one of them. I will make them suffer like they made me. I will take no prisoners. I forgot. You watching. You should subscribe and consider becoming a member. Oh, yeah. You should do that. Now, let's take back what's ours. We're so back. Oh, I didn't even have to attack them. They think they can dominate me again, but they have no idea what's coming to them. Let's bring more pain to the home islands. Earlier, I thought them having 4,000 divisions was a bad thing, but no, it means there's more of them to destroy. Now, back to Ukraine. Shut 
China really thinks they can get away from us by leaving the Allies, but I remember what they've done. They'll pay. So the Soviets declared war on the Allies, and Germany joined them. They will not take away my kills. Germany is the only one who needs to cap to peace out this faction. That will be easy. Both me and the Allies are pushing them. They're defeated. Let's see what we get in the peace conference. It's 1966 and we've killed almost 30 million in this war and 60 million in total, while only losing 300,000. But we're not done with the Allies. Let's get back to the grind. We can start by taking back Italy. I'm also at war with a faction of some small African nations. Let's take care of that too. Now, some more grinding in Ukraine. And then, a very important invasion. It'll be a massive blow to the Allies if we can capture North America. And that's what I will try to do. Together with Hussam's guidance, I'll capture Bermuda. Then move into the mainland United States. I have to move quickly and take big cities to even have a chance of defeating them. Our 100% collaboration government will raise the odds of this succeeding. Most allied units are in Europe, so until they get here, we're on a time limit. Yes, we also need to defeat Canada and Mexico to secure all of North America. Hell yeah, now Mexico. Oh, I don't think this will succeed. Let's reroute and focus on Japan instead. Hawaii, Wake Island, Marcus Island and Iwo Jima. I think we're all set to launch a naval invasion into Japan. That was easy. Now we can grind a bit in China. Bruh, they took back Japan and the UK. Let's move back to Europe and destroy more allied divisions. Okay, we we'll now take back the UK. I don't think we'll be able to make the UK capitulate right now. So I'll begin a massive grind session in the Ukraine. After six years in Ukraine, our division has killed another 50 million, making the allied casualty number in this war 100 million. We've reduced their division number all the way down to 1.6 thousand, while only losing 337 thousand. I hope Hussam is proud. We should be able to take the UK now.
Yes. In addition, I'll take the Iron Man and Ireland. What should I do now? I suppose the best thing to do is stabilizing our position by taking some islands. The Caribbean would be a great place to store some airplanes if we invade North America again. So let's capture it. With space for thousands of planes, it's time to invade the USA again. Let's snake for victory points. They're bringing hundreds of divisions here. It's not safe to snake anymore. I'll place our division in New York to avoid being encircled. This isn't sustainable. They're relentlessly pushing me, making it so I can't even attack them. Let's relocate. Time to snake again. If we take New York, they should cap. Oh shit. There's 31 Chinese divisions here. We have to push them out quickly. We took it, but they took everything else. Uh, back to Florida. Let's try the New York snake again. A preemptive nuke should make it easier. Yeah, now Canada. And they cap too. At last, Mexico. Yeah, they cap. And bruh, they took everything back again. Let's cool down for a bit and wait until they get their units out of there. In the meantime, we can defeat some neutral American nations. Okay, back to Ukraine now. This is way too boring. It's time to do something exciting, like taking Africa. It should be possible if they don't put a lot of divisions here. Oh shit. That's a lot of divisions. Still, if we delete them, we should succeed. They're gone. We continue south. Ethiopia cap further south now. Let's go. Africa is under Algerian control. They no longer have to deal with the Allied rule. And the Mediterranean is secure. Italy is captured again. We should quickly retake it. There they go. It's about time to defeat Japan again.
Okay, so we have a good base to use for a Shiny's invasion. Let's not waste time and do that. I mean, it's already 1990. For context, let's say a soldier was 20 when we took Spain for the first time. They're 68 now. And let's not even question how old Hussam is. Yeah, they're not going to budge. I think we should go back to Europe. Even after defeating Ukraine and Poland, it won't make much of a difference. Hussam, I'm struggling to keep going. I hope you're right, that this is worth it. I think we have a better chance of defeating the Chinese United Front, since China is the only major. Guys, I think there's hope. The front lines are looking empty. I see light at the end of the tunnel. Oh my god, they actually capitulated. But we have to defeat the Soviets. And for some reason they only have one core state in the middle of nowhere. It will be hard even getting there at all. Nevertheless, before China takes back all their stuff, we have to try at least. I'm in the state. We have to take every single tile for them to cap. I pray to some that we don't get interrupted. Oh my god, I can't believe it. The game has been going on for 43 hours. 43! We finally have a huge victory. They will never again be able to threaten us. 
Now, the allies are left. I can assure you that Hussam will be proud. I will defeat every single one of them. Let's go give our old friends, the USA, a visit. Not so fun when you were the one getting naval invaded, huh? Canada and Mexico will fall too. North America is ours. What's left of the Allies? Bruh, how many majors do they have? Sweden, Tibet, India, Ukraine and Poland are the remaining ones. Let's continue our relentless assault on them. Classic Hoi 4. We should be able to just defeat them too. Uh, the amount of dopamine is insane. 50 hours, 156 million allied soldiers dead, 420,000 of ours. After 62 years of torment from the allies, we've gotten revenge. But we're not done yet. That took way too long. 60 hours. 72 if we include the restarts. Over 300 million kills with one division. It's 2034 and the whole world is ruled by Algeria. By Hussam, who is probably over 120 years old. We got your damage. You prevailed through the tournament. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you for watching. I may also release the full playthrough, so comment if you would like that. And if you like this video, watch this one now and or the playthrough over you. A massive thank you to my patrons and YouTube members. If you want to be mentioned here along with other perks, become a YouTube member. A massive thank you to Max the Best 101, Jesse, Nimrod the Dragon, and Maccabius. Your support truly means a lot.